Hey there, Blessed Mama. We are here to help you, the working mom, manage your personal and professional life without losing your mind. This is a podcast for you. I'm Blair Critch, and I went from a teacher to a stay at home to a seven figure online business owner. And listen, that didn't happen overnight. It happened after we actually hit rock bottom bankruptcy that shook us. Then to find out my husband had an addiction problem. I decided that day I would grow and learn how to build a flexible business of freedom. Now today, I'm passionate about teaching other women the exact same thing through systems and strategies full of faith, fun, and drive. What is up? I am Kelly Hoover, retired corporate pharmaceutical rep to network marketing millionaire and small business owner. After recovering from a brain tumor, I knew I wanted to go after my dreams and make life happen. You know, quit waiting around for the perfect time. So I learned social media and how to master my time, and then the magic really started happening. If you are looking to create connections and own your time management skills, then this is the place for you. Let's do it. What is up, ladies? It's Kelly Hoover, half of Blessed Mama Bosses. I hope you are having an incredible day today. I am flying solo on this episode, and I am so excited. I'm excited to share with you just some personal testimony about how to clear your mind as a working mom, as a woman who is juggling so many things, most likely in your personal life, in your professional life. Here's the thing. Have you ever felt like the weight of the world is just sitting on top of your chest? There are so many things going on in your life. You can't think clear. Have you ever been in a situation where you feel so out of control because there are so many things going on? A lot of them are out of your control, but you just can't think clear because there is a zillion things on your to-do list. Or maybe you have felt that you can't think clear because the to-do list at home is interrupting your to-do list at your job or your business And then you've got kids and there's so many things going on with them with school and activities. And the thing is, is it can just be so overwhelming. You are not alone. And today I'm going to be sharing the top three tips that Blair and I use to really truly clear our mind. Here's the thing, girls, your mind, it's an instrument. You have to think of it that way. And the better you learn to use your mind, you become a master of your mind and not a slave to it, the better off that you will be. It's truly the case. Have you ever felt that way where you have so many things going on? I know I have. In fact, over the last 15 months, it's been really difficult. It's been difficult to homeschool, to run multiple businesses, to do a lot of different things to take care of yourself and your family and the mental health. But we have to break away, but we have to break away from the grind. We must clear our mind and enjoy some downtime. But often when we enjoy that downtime, we feel guilty that comes along with it because we're thinking, oh, there are so many other things I could be doing now. So we just don't sit still or we cannot release that guilt. Listen, I know it's especially hard for you out there that are overachievers. You really want to be the best at everything that you do. I get you. I'm with you. I am that girl too. The reality is, is we just can't. We cannot always make it happen. And I'm excited to really dive into these three things and pray that it helps you so much on your journey of clearing your mind. Really, truly create that space, that space for a clear mind, allowing that instrument to function to its best ability so you, yes, you can grow more than ever. Before you start this process, though, listen, you may need to meditate. You may need to do some yoga, practice from mindfulness, or even go and exercise, and that is okay as you're going through this process of these tips but you're going to feel amazing. You're going to be so clear-headed and you're going to love it. So grab your pen and paper. You're going to want to take notes on this episode. Of course, if you're driving, come back and listen, but also share this with others. I promise you, whether your girlfriends are telling you that their mind is foggy, it is. This last 15 months has been challenging for so many people. So the very first tip, are you ready? 
brain dump. I'm going to challenge you right now to take out a piece of paper, a blank white piece of paper, or open up your Microsoft and have a blank piece of paper. Now, don't stop the podcast and do this right now, but write this out. Write some of the things that I am going to say. And when you get off or block off a time in your calendar to do this this week, later today, tomorrow morning when you have a fresh mind, and do this exercise. Brain dump everything that is on your mind. Make sure to include all the tasks around your home, everything in your personal life, you know, those doctor's appointments, those signups for summer camps or things that you need to do, the things you've been putting off, everything in your business life, everything in your nine to five, if you have one, your friendships, your family, your significant other, brain dump everything. Now, don't get me wrong. I know what I'm asking you to do may feel daunting right now. You may be like wanting to hit the pause and say, I'm not listening to this anymore, but hang with me. It may feel overwhelming. Your brain actually may be racing a gazillion thoughts in your mind as I am chatting with you. But the reality is, is once you have it all dumped on a piece of paper, you know where you need to start. And you're going to see as we go through these tips of how you're going to feel so much better. So why a brain dump? Why is this important as the first step? Brain dumping is so powerful because you are literally transferring a large amount of information from your brain to a different storage space, a white piece of paper, or your Microsoft Word doc, or your notes section in your phone. You are transferring it from your brain to another place. It is no longer taking storage there. Essentially, you're jotting down all your thoughts until you have a sense of relief that everything is out of your mind. This is such an amazing practice. I do this at the beginning of every single month and make a monthly brain dump list. Okay, so that is tip number one. Who's excited about tip two? Tip two, oh man, I'm going to be talking to myself on this one. This is my Achilles heel. Declutter your space. I know, like do not throw daggers at me right now, y'all. Declutter your space. You are listening right now. If you have ever been in my home or you have seen photos or heard me talk about the clutter that lives in my life or follow me personally on Instagram, You know that this is challenging. Is this challenging for you? Here's the cool thing. It's not challenging for Blair. She is one of the best at decluttering. I do believe that sometimes your mind is so cluttered because your space is cluttered. Can you relate with that? Do you sit down at your desk and you cannot think clear or you get stressed because your desk is a mess? Be honest with yourself. This past January, I personally made a pact to do a better job. And I'm going to tell you, I'm doing about 50-50 so far. What pact did you make to yourself? Did you make a pact to declutter? I definitely have room for improvement in this category. We all probably do. I will say, when you take time to clean your space, your mind automatically will feel a lot less cluttered. For example, go through your closet and get rid of all the clothes and the items that you don't want or you don't need anymore. Give them away. Give each of them the item that you keep its own space. Wherever you are conducting your business or you're working, whether you work from home, you're working elsewhere, you're managing working and a business, Make sure that your space is organized and it's clean. You will get incredibly distracted if not. So when you're going through this process, why don't you set a timer, stay very focused on cleaning that one thing, whether it's your pantry, your closet, the space, your desk, you work, get that task 100% completed before moving on. And another idea is you can approach a different room in your home each month. So start with this month. 
and think about decluttering each one. This will allow you not to feel overwhelmed. Another really great tip that has helped so many of you is your desk. It constantly needs to be cleared, right? You're working at it. What if you made sure the close of business each week, you cleaned your desk, it was organized, it was prepared for the week coming. Imagine if you went into the weekend not feeling stressed or overwhelmed of what has not been done. Because trust me, these things, these lists of things that need to be accomplished, they're long. You just brain dumped them. They're long. And maybe they're longer now than they were a year ago. Maybe they're shorter. But if you're an overachiever, you're running a business, maybe you're homeschooling, maybe you're virtual learning, your to-do list, you may have to be okay with it being longer at some forms of your life and some other points it's not. But when you close business down at the end of the week and allow your space to be cleaned and prepared for the next week, your stress will be less because you have simply decluttered. Now, the third and final tip is to map out a game plan. Once you have your brain dump all written down, you've organized your space that you are going to work in. Maybe you don't have it all organized, but you have a game plan for when you're going to organize things. Organize your desk at least the bare minimum. You take all of these brain dump items and organize them into categories. So let's just say for an example, you choose three categories. So my three categories would be my blessed mama bosses, my thrive, which is my network marketing business, and my personal life, which includes my kids, my home, my self-development. So you have these three separate categories. Maybe you have four, maybe you have two. After you have these categories, now you begin can begin to file each one of your brain dump items into one of these categories. The next step after you have them all listed is to brain dump everything prioritizing them. So you have the brain dump there. You have, let's just say you have three categories. You have 15 items that need to be done in category one. Now you're going to prioritize them. Out of those 15, what is the most important? What's the second? What's the third? What's the fourth? You see the process. You go one through 15 and you order them. Now think how clear it is. You go and you say, hey, I'm going to work on Blessed Mama Boss's business. What is the most important thing out of my entire brain dump that needs to get handled first? Boom, number one. We don't move on to anything else. We're not multitasking. You are staying focused on task one. How good does that feel when you cross task one off and then you move on to task two? This will allow you to begin to plan your week and exactly what needs to happen. I know that you are busy and I know that clearing your mind may feel overwhelming. When you feel like you've lost control of your mind and you can't think clear, your world spins out of control. But the reality is, is when you clear your desk, when you brain dump, tie your hair up, get yourself to work, begin to get organized and stay on top of things, your life will be so impacted. You will accomplish so many things throughout your day. You're going to be like, what? This is amazing. You just became so efficient. You just took a day and turned it into two because your mind is clear and your mind is effective. It is such a powerful thing. Remember, your mind is an instrument and you want to have that growth. I am so incredibly excited that we had the opportunity to chat a little bit more. I want to know, did this work for you? Will you share this with other people? If you have not left a rating, a five-star rating, you know we love those around here, and a review, Would you mind to do that? This is exactly how this podcast gets shared with others. Will you share this with someone today, a friend of yours that truly needs to have a clearer mind? Maybe they need a very specific strategy on how to make that happen in their life. We would love that. And if you don't feel like sharing and you got some value out of this, would you share it on your 
Instagram and tag us on Instagram at blessmamabosses underscore. We are gearing up and we are so excited to be able to apply some of these resources and these tools to our Bringing You Me Back retreat. You may have heard us talk about this before, and depending on when you're listening to this episode, honestly, it may be full. There may be a few spots left, but I will tell you, it is incredible. It is an incredible time to clear your mind. It's an incredible time to go on a women's retreat where your mind is clear. You can recenter yourself and get in touch with who you are as a person, who you are as a woman, who you are as a business owner who you are as a daughter, who you are as a mom, as a wife, all the many hats that I know you wear. If you want more information about the first ever Blessed Mama Bosses Bringing Me Back Retreat, we're hosting it in September in Orlando, Florida. There will be more, but this one is going to be incredible. You're going to be blown away. You do not have to cook. You do not have to clean. It's going to be amazing, and we are going to serve you all weekend so that you feel refreshed, renewed, and recentered with who you are as a woman. So you can head over to www.bnbretreat.com, or of course, you can always message us on Facebook or Instagram. I hope you have an incredible day, and I hope that you will apply these things. I know that you can do it. I know that your mind is going to be an instrument that is working its best for you. Have an incredible day, ladies. We hope you enjoyed this episode and want to hang out with us more. Join us inside our Facebook community. You can find us at www.blessedmamabossesgroup.com. We'll see you inside.